Hey guys, Dustin Medlin here at 5710 and 5712 Northeast 50th Street, which is in North Kansas City, north of the river, uh, Missouri. And we're taking a look at a duplex that's here for sale at $175,000. So uh, let's take a look at it. So here's the front of it. Looks pretty good. Um, the roof looks like it's in pretty good shape gutters are on there um, the unit to the left is vacant this one to the right uh, we cannot see because it is occupied so we'll take a look around the outside first it's like the yard needs mode and they do they are trying to get this one rented looks like this vacant unit here 5710 first things first let's take a look at the foundation um, well, actually, first things first, let's take a look at the neighborhood. So, the neighborhood actually looks good. I drove in here. Um, everybody looks like they take pretty good care of their place. There is a tree down there that needs to be cut, so the, that looks like something that the county needs to take care of. Um, directly across the street is a nice little ranch house. And then that's what looks like an overgrown empty lot. Right next door is another multifamily. You can see the cars are in pretty good shape. Down there is a another single family home. So the street looks pretty good. Get back over here to the outside. I would definitely add a extension on that downspout because it looks like it's pouring out. And probably coming right back around that way the way that this land lies so that probably needs to be extended out so it gets away from the foundation but the foundation looks like it's in pretty good darn shape pretty darn good shape so real straight I don't see any patches where they patched it or cracks uh, here's the backyard another duplex behind it You got this fence that kind of protects you from that other unit. The backyard of the occupied unit looks like it's pretty full of stuff. Here's the AC outside condensing unit for the vacant unit. Looks like it's running good. Not the newest in the world. This does have uh, metal siding on it, which is low maintenance. The gutters all look excellent. Got covers on the window wells in the basement to keep water from getting in, so that's good. It does need some work on the fascia. It looks like the fascia behind the gutters is rotten, so it's gonna need some work there. Uh, but again, the roof looks pretty darn good. I don't see from down here anyway. I don't anything that is too alarming. Then we'll go over and take a look at the other side as well. Got two separate gas meters, so that's good. Here's the front of the unit. It looks r real good. The paint's fresh. Garage doors are all right. Brick, I don't see any spalding or anything in the brick. Concrete driveway. It does come down here, but uh, that's not a big deal. Here's side of the house. You can see this side. Got kind of a strange gutter thing going on there. But again, foundation is what I was looking at. Artist, they do have a buried down spot here, which that's good. They have it coming out down there on the other side of that retaining wall. Then this foundation wall looks real straight and 
I don't see any big cracks or anything. This window well is also covered up. And this has been a downspout that somebody's modified to get the water out away from the house too. So there's a side drive here on this street. And this is all part of the yard. So yeah, overall outside looks good. Let's go inside the vacant unit and take a look. So it's got a screen door protecting it. Screen door's in pretty good shape. The door jam here is a little bit rough. But you know, a lot of times you'll see where that's been split from people kicking it in. But looks like it only happened once. Uh, so when you come in, you come into the lower level and you got stairs that go up. And then over here to the left, you have kind of a family room or so to speak. Your AC vents, your back wall, and then down here is also where your mechanicals are, including your hot water heater, which is gas and fairly old. Let's see if we can find the date on it. 1991. Yeah, that is uh, definitely old. So, you know, they say that nowadays hot water heaters only last 12 years or so. And then here's the furnace. So this furnace is definitely older as well. But when I was in here earlier, it was running and pumping out some nice cold air. So. It appears at least that it does work. This is the garage, by the way, that we're in now. Garage floor looks pretty good. Here's under the stair stairwell storage for the tenants, which is nice because you just have a one car garage here. But in the one car garage, you have this rear space too, which is also the laundry. So you got dryer hookup, and washer hookup out here. You have a panel, it looks like it's been upgraded since this was built and it's well labeled. It's a 100 amp panel. Imagine the other unit has its own 100 amp panel as well. Here's a little hole in the ceiling where there's some telephone wires in. But again, this is the garage. So it wouldn't necessarily have to be fixed. All right, coming in here, this is just an unfinished area of the basement. That would need a cap on it because that is to the sewer. So that leads me to believe that maybe, oh, no, nope. looks like something's stuck down in there. But yeah, that would be a sewer clean out. You got another clean out right there. So your pipes are black, black PVC. Looks like maybe there was a, Leak at one point there. Yeah, for sure. On some of these. Leak there. We go upstairs, we can kind of turn some of that water on and maybe see if it's leaking. But yeah, that's the bit that's the basement, the family room. So now we'll head upstairs. And coming upstairs to the left is the living room and the kitchen. Kitchen's got linoleum floor, range, looks like it's been shown a couple times, not very many. Got a refrigerator. The living room goes, is a walkout. Ceiling pan. Coming over here, you're gonna find the bathroom. Water is on. Yeah, 
bedroom. In great shape, move in ready. And then you have the master bedroom, which is bigger. This is a nice sized room. Carpet looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of a stain right there, but all in all, I'd say somebody could move right in. Here's the closet. So this is a two bedroom unit. Both of these units on both sides are two bedrooms. Let's run downstairs real quick and see if this leak is active or if it was old. Not seeing anything just yet. So for the short amount of time that we'll be able to spend here, it doesn't look like it's leaking. But of course, you know, when an inspector checks it, he's gonna run that for a considerably long time to give it time to start showing up if it is leaking. So anyway, we'll get up here and turn this water off. Looks like they do drain. That's good. Uh, no signs of major leaking. There's a little bit of surface mold back there underneath the sink. But yeah, all in all, this is a this is a decent little place. It's in good shape, in my opinion. It would work out good for. A renter got a pantry right here in the kitchen too so kind of like a ceiling in the kitchen kind of gives it some character and the kitchen's good size so you can there's enough room for a table right here so you can have a dining room table if you want or a small kitchen table comes with the refrigerator so yeah all in all I'd say it's pretty good so recapping, you know, um, looks like it's pretty move-in ready, at least this side is. Again, we're not going to be able to probably see this other side unless uh, it goes under contract and we do inspections since there is somebody living there. Um, but all in all, neighborhood's good. Looks clean. You can kind of get an idea up the street what that looks like. And there's the final look at the unit. Um, maybe the only concerns would be the age of the the furnace and the hot water heater especially and that hot water heater is, is definitely old um but the furnace and the air conditioner were working quite well so if you have any other questions give me a call um otherwise i'll talk to you talk to you later thank you